in this session we shall do two things one we shall create the jar file of our applications and we shall deploy the spring cloud dataflow server in our local machine First, we build the jar file for our credit card application that is for our supplier. So it is build is successful. Now we do the same for credit card verification. That is our processor. And finally, for the credit card generation, that is our consumer. So all the three jars are built successfully. These jar files will be available in our local Maven repository within this uh, com d2 folder. And here, these are the jar files. Now, we need to download few jar files for Spring Cloud Dataflow server. Let's download this. This is the Spring Cloud Dataflow jar. We also need Spring Cloud Dataflow shell jar since uh, since these are provided by Spring, so uh, these are safe. And the skipper. Let's copy all the jar in a folder so Spring Cloud Dataflow. And we need to make sure that the RabbitMQ and MySQL are running in our Docker or in your local machine if you install it locally. Now we run the jar files which we have downloaded from the folder where we kept it. First, we need to run the skipper jar. So skipper server is started. And now we run the data flow jar for shell. We don't need now. This is the command line interface to connect with Spring Cloud Dataflow server. We shall do it later. Start the Dataflow server jar. So Dataflow server is started. Now let's go to the URL. It is localhost 9393 and dashboard. And this is the dashboard for our Spring Cloud Dataflow server. Next session, we shall register our three applications in Spring Cloud Dataflow server and we shall create a stream to deploy our application as a pipeline and we test our application. So, thanks for watching. Please like, share and subscribe and we shall meet in the next session. Thank you.